Hey, before we start this video off, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Comment below, let me know you subscribe so that I can respond to it as soon as possible. And hit the bell too. Now on to the show. Hey everybody, Sleeve in South Jersey. And uh, we're a little local today. We're actually uh, just a walking trip from uh, my home. We're here in Linwald, and we're here at the former new to you auto world. Well, as I always said, new to you, junk to everyone else. And uh, so, this lot used to be packed with cars, as far as the eye could see. This lot, you would have a hard time walking through here to be so many cars. You'd have loud music playing. The entire time this place was open. This is one of those buy here, pay here locations. This was also shut down by our government. One of the few things our government here in New Jersey has done right. <laughs> the Attorney General actually, I'll, I will give him um, uh, high marks just for this, not for everything else. But for, for closing this place down, let me tell you a little more. You see, the guy who owned New to You Auto World also owned two other used car lots. I'm not going to say where because uh, they're under new management and uh, I believe they're doing a lot better than this place is, obviously. You can see they left in a hurry. <laughs> As you can see, all they left was the trash. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if some of this trash was in the trunk of the cars. Let me explain. One person actually bought a uh, used car from this lot and actually received some extras, some extra options, if you will, such as paperwork and bills from the previous uh, owner and even a used car seat. They didn't even clean the car out. See, let's see if I can see anything behind here. Really can't see much, it's overgrown. And this here was the fence that's been taken down. But new to you, in all three of their locations, was actually engaged in a process known as churning. Churning is illegal. Let me explain what that is. I'll give you an example. A uh, person comes in and they have poor credit and uh, they you know don't have a lot of money. So they're coming here hoping oh, I just, the signboard there. There's a bumper cover there. They're just hoping for an affordable set of wheels so they can get to their job so they can get a, get a step up, you know? Get a, you know, try to get ahead in life. And we're all for the little guy, right? I know I am. Well, the uh, shady people that ran this joint, they would get this person to buy, let's say it was a Let's say we'll use an example of 2006 Dodge Charger SXT. You know, the V6 model. And let's say it had 180,000 miles. And let's say it was worth about two grand. They would put this person on a payment plan, a weekly payment that they had to pay here at this location. And the, if they would have paid, if they would have made every single payment and paid the car off, 
they would have paid six grand or even seven grand more than the car was even worth but don't worry they never paid all that you see it's kind of planned in a way you see the car in our example now not the actual car but there was if you you could read stories about this in the paper online and they they mentioned other cars I'm just giving you a typical example here just of kind of representative of what they were like well I covered 183,000 miles especially if it's a v6 charger the uh, the v6 engines on those things don't really last that long and have some problems so next thing you know our friend has to put out money to get the car fixed and he's got two choices he could either pay the money to get the car fixed or pay the payment to keep the car in other words the uh, the dealership here they got them where they want them and so after a few weeks of not paying the payments the repo man comes and takes the vehicle personal effects at all you you know you left your school books in there the car seat for your baby in there and that goes to the next person the next victim and that's what churning is they would sometimes sell and resell these cars two three four five times in a single year or in, or, or in a period of years two three years you should read the articles uh, I think I'll actually uh, I'll actually uh, link to one of them in the description here <laughs> but finally people complained and the Attorney General of the state of New Jersey went and uh, went took them to court and now the former owner of this dealership is not allowed to operate any kind of uh, used car lot in the state of New Jersey ever and for that we can rejoice uh, fuel pump anyone <laughs> still we look at this location been closed the past couple of years now and nothing's being done here they just uh, they pretty much just left it uh, the owner, I guess, uh, him and his employees, if, if you would call them that, they just uh, took what they could and, and uh, locked the doors, and that was it. Hmm. See some uh, photographs over there. This has been a little interesting, a little different kind of video for me to make, but... Uh, I'm glad I did it, and I hope uh, you got something out of it too. And as always, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what I'm doing good so I can do more of it for you, folks. Have a great day as always, and see you on the next video. I can't believe I got in this place.